every week an average 45 million television viewers can't get enough of those crazy car chases in the general lead, or Daisy Duke's short shorts, or perhaps even more popular, that always devious boss hog scheming yet another plan to get those Duke boys. These are all scenes from one of television's top shows, The Dukes of Hazard. But what even the most ardent fans probably don't know is that the show is named after a real life town, Hazard, Kentucky. And today that town has been turned inside out because the stars from the Dukes are coming to pay a visit. I've never seen anything like this hit had. You know, I've been around here all my life. I've never seen anything like this. Is this the biggest thing? It's the biggest thing that has ever hit had. How far have you come to get here? A little over 100 miles. Why? I wanted to see uh, Daisy. We've come approximately 400 or 450 miles. Hazard is set deep in the mountains of Appalachia. Population, about 7,000. Today, nearly 70,000 Duke fans have swarmed in to greet their stars. And any youngster who's a real fan knows how to yell like a Duke. All right, how about you? Yee-hoo! Louder than that. Yee-hoo! Yee Let me hear that one more time. To say it was a real coup to get the Duke's cast to visit Hazard is an understatement. But after numerous phone calls, the cast agreed to come help raise money for a youth center, and they were made grand marshals of a special parade. But one cast member in particular had a very personal reason for making the trip. James Best, who portrays Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane, is being reunited with a brother who he's not seen since they were adopted out of an orphanage. That was 48 years ago. And I couldn't hardly believe it. <laughs> Hadn't seen him so long. This is James's long-lost older brother, John Paul. He works in a Chicago factory, and through the help of his family, John Paul finally discovered that brother James was now a big television star. Today, he says, is the happiest day of his life. What do you think you're going to do when you meet him? I don't know. I'm going to talk to him. Shake his <laughs> hand? Of, yeah, shake his hand. Probably hug his neck. <laughs> Before the parade started, James was escorted through the huge crowd for the reunion with John Paul. It was a very difficult moment for both of them. Whoa, how's it going? Very John Paul. Very good to see you. And it is a, it's a very mixed emotion thing because it's very hard to say, what, what do you say to someone that, that you've never met, and that is uh, blood kin, you know, and I'm very family oriented. How far did you know? It was, it was a... It was a very interesting experience. I'm looking forward to talking to him much more later. I'm sorry to run away. Well, that's all right, James. I don't have I'll see you later, Holmes. All right. I'll see you later. While Sheriff Roscoe was hustled back to a waiting car, the parade was starting at the other end of town, and that roly-poly villain in white, Boss Hogg, was greeting the masses. Sorrel Brook, a one-time Shakespearean actor who plays Boss Hogg, says this is the finest welcome he's ever been given. It sure is a reception. Like I've never seen. It's fun. It ain't half as much harder as <laughs> work making this show to do for us. <laughs> yeah, it may look like work, but we're just standing here while people say hi, hello, and want to uh, shake a hand or hug their necks. Everything else is fun. Uh, making the Dukes a hazard is a Long, hard job every day. Sheriff Roscoe's sidekick, Cletus, played by Rick Hurst, says Hazard sure grew quickly. Well, if this is a town of 7,000 people, where did all these people come from? So you enjoy Hazard hospitality? This is fabulous. It's just unbelievable. OK. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Now, you didn't think that all these people came to Hazard just to see two guys in uniform and a fat man in white. No, with all due respect, certainly the most popular character to arrive on the scene was Catherine Bach, Daisy, all these folks. Everybody's been so nice to us. They just made us a part of the family. And I'm just glad we called Dukes of Hazard. It's really been a fantastic reception. I just, I love everybody. They just are really nice. But no one came as far, or with a better reason to see the Dukes, than JoJo Holloway. She and her mother, Shirley, came in from Louisiana. Seven-year-old JoJo is dying of a rare blood disease, and her favorite program is the Dukes of Hazard. Oh, she loves the Dukes of Hazard. That's the only thing she can get interested in. The only reaction we can get out of her whatsoever is to mention something about the Dukes of Hazard. And before she quit talking, one time when she was in the hospital, she would tell the doctors her name was JoJo P. Coltrane. 
She just loves Roscoe and all the dudes. Spending a precious few minutes with JoJo and reaching out to all these people is for the Duke cast the real reward for being on a hit show. It's the payoff is when those little kids look up to you with those big eyes and say, I love you, Roscoe. And that puts a lump in anybody's throat and certainly does mine. And I think I think that's the reward. You know, we're all out in the middle of nowhere when we shoot Dixie Hazard. We're out in country roads and on this ranch and we don't we don't see everybody and we don't hear you saying hello. We get the letters, but it, there's nothing like being there and having everybody say hi. You get to say hi to that and knowing that people like us and that everything that our hard work is really paying off. We just love it. I'm a good old boy. Woo! several thousand dollars towards the youth center and by the end of the day Daisy and company knew they had been to the one and only Hazard, Kentucky. Welcome. Best time we've ever, ever had in a town and wouldn't you know come from Hazard.